Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mike. I am the American Analyst, and tonight we are going to be talking about the Democratic debate and the absolute insanity that went on yesterday. This is why TV was invented. If you like what I do, please be sure to subscribe to me here on YouTube, like this video, and follow me on Twitter and Minds. Let's get into it. Okay, so the Democratic debate last night was absolute insanity. I mean, it was easily the most vicious and personal of any of the, any presidential debate, Republican or, or Democrat. It was absolutely vicious. Personal attacks uh, mixed in, flavored with political attacks. It was honestly amazing. I, I don't think anybody came out out a winner last night from, from these debates, except for the Donald. I mean, uh, this it just shows that the it kind of shows the incumbent advantage, if you will, because they're all out there attacking each other, giving fuel for future campaign ads for President Trump. And nobody's attacking him. All, all, all the conversation that last night and today from the political world or common commentariat, you might say, was all of it was about the Democrats attacking each other. That's it. And just to show that, uh, I have some clips. We're just going to go through some highlight clips. Uh, I thought that'd be pretty interesting because we're going to go from three different perspectives of highlight clips. So I think we can see. First off, we can get the highlights, which is most important, but also we can see a bit how media companies uh, present things. But I don't think anyone would say this. <laughs> so the first thing that happened, the first thing was Warren was asked a question about Bloomberg. And she's like, I don't think we should. This is a quote. This is not me saying this. <laughs> uh she said, I don't think we should elect someone who has called women, quote, fat broads and horse faced lesbians. I was like, oh, my God, I could not believe that that is how this night had started out. It, it was insanity. Honestly, tr true, true insanity. So with that, we're going to go through some of these. We're going to start with uh, ABC. I figured that would be as it was as neutral of a source as I could find. Uh, I tried to actually find one from MSNBC, but interestingly enough, they didn't have any highlight reels. I guess that kind of makes sense because they hosted it. So why would they point people to a highlight reel when they could point them to the actual actual video? But let's go and watch this highlight reel. The gloves came off almost immediately. I'd like to talk about who we're running against. Oh, here we A go. billionaire who calls women fat broads and horse-faced <sighs> lesbians. And no, I'm not talking about Donald Trump. I'm talking about Mayor Bloomberg. The Democratic candidates taking to the stage the Wednesday in this right ninth Democratic that. debate hosted by NBC News. Former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg spending millions of his own money on campaign ads, we're up making to him a prime target. But Mr. Bloomberg. Bloomberg had policies in New York City of stop and frisk, which went after... Uh, stop and frisk. I, I, I need to do some more research on because on the face of it, I don't, I, I trust no politician. I don't trust any of them. On the face of it, it seems like an objectively racist policy, but I don't know enough about it to speak intelligently on it. So that's something I definitely need to look in. But if Bloomberg was supporting that, then psh, all right, we'll see. He claims it. Oh well, no, he, he does say, which is weird. Wouldn't you think he would defend his own policy? He's not. He's just saying, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was pretty racist. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, I feel bad, right? Forgive me. Yeah, we'll see. The African-American and Latino people in an outrageous way, that is not a way you're going to grow voter turnout. Senator Bernie Sanders surging in national polls, now the front runner, making him a target as well. Let's put forward somebody who's actually a Democrat. <laughs> Look, we shouldn't have to choose between one candidate who wants to burn this party down 
and another candidate who wants to buy this party out. But Sanders pushing back. Maybe it's a time for the working class of this country to have a little bit of power in Washington rather than your billionaire campaign contributors. <laughs> Do you see, what I, other you see what I mean? This is crazy. It's just, this is the personal, the personal attacks are saying Bernie wants to destroy the Democratic Party. And then Bernie coming around saying that Buttigieg want, has all these billionaire friends who, who are, that's the only reason he's on there. It, it, it was, it got I nuts. I don't think there's any chance of uh, the senator beating President Trump. You don't start out by saying, uh, I've got 160 million people. I'm going to take away the insurance plan that they love. Mm -hmm. I'm the only one on this stage that's actually no. got anything done on health. Drop out, Joe. Okay. okay. <laughs> Amy, I looked online at your plan. It's two paragraphs. Uh, Family so I, I looked this up. I looked up Amy's plan last night while I was watching. Um, it's it's not two page or, or she said it was two paragraphs. It's three, but it links to other pages that are a bit longer, that are more detailed. However, you have to find them. Some of her the, her links link to articles where she's explaining it and some of them link to um still her website but then goes into further detail so uh, it, it's just i think it's a fair point from from warren but also no one's going to read a 50 page thing like and maybe I, I should probably should have looked up warren's plan right before this but i mean do you really think people are going to read a 50 page healthcare plan no they're not give me the synopsis if you can't if there's an army saying if you can't give it to me in what is it if you can't give it to me in one page i don't want to hear it so psh, there you go Please are suffering and they need okay, a that's plan it. You okay that's over it. seventy thousand nevada democrats right. um so moving on We're going to the oh to bloomberg i i, I couldn't resist well, let's see what bloomberg the the network thinks about uh, how the debate went. I can't think of a ways that would make it easier for Donald Trump to get reelected than listening to this conversation. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We're not going to throw out capitalism. We tried that. Other countries tried that. It was called communism and it just didn't Ooh, work. I believe in capitalism, but I think our the goal of someone in government and a president of the United States should be a check on that. Democrats take a huge risk if we just substitute one arrogant billionaire for another. If they've got to choose between a socialist who thinks that capitalism is the root of all evil and a billionaire who thinks that money ought to be the, the root of all power. Let's uh, I, I thought that was Pete's like first dialogue i guess you could say his first chance uh, on the stage he botched that it's it's a very good point very well thought out point but he botched the delivery uh he botched the delivery i can i'm sure he's kicking himself because that was his that was supposed to be his his dunk his slam dunk and and it is it's a really good point like who are we going to choose the billionaire or are we going to choose the socialist and and he put it in a very eloquent way, but he just botched the delivery. Put forward somebody who actually lives and works in a middle class neighborhood. And if there are a few people who make ugly remarks, oh my who God, attack trade so union partisan, leaders, are disowned those people, they are not part of our movement. Look, I'm running because so many people are being left behind. <laughs> all right, all right, there's our synopsis from. Uh, from Bloomberg. All right. I mean, it's so partisan. It's crazy. They, they, Bernie had some good moments last night. He had some good moments. Um, and, but he also had some, his biggest moment was they brought up the houses thing. They're saying that, you know, Bernie, you've been, you kind of haven't been talking too much about, because in 2016, his, we got to get these millionaires and billionaires. That's, I'm working on my Bernie. <laughs> we got to get these billionaires, billionaires to pay for everything. Now it's just the billionaires. Now only the billionaires pay for things. Well, because he became a national celebrity and became a millionaire. <laughs> now he has three houses. And Bloomberg uh, brought this up. He's like, how, are, how is it that the most famous socialist in our country has three houses? How is it? 
And he's like, and Bernie says, I have one in Vermont, I have one in D.C., and I have a summer camp. That's the the word he used was camp. Um, okay, uh, I mean, I don't think he has a response to that. Uh, you know, start with yourself, Bernie. If you want socialism? Start with you. I think the average. What's the average uh, annual salary? Fifty k. All right, this is the Guardian. I thought this would be a good last one. Guardian is in English, or I guess maybe British would be a better word. A British newspaper. Very left-leaning, but I thought it'd be good to get an outside um, point, point of view. And also, outside point of view, and see what the British are. Oh, and a more left-leaning, because we had the center, we had the Bloomberg, <laughs> literally Bloomberg. We are not going to be Donald Trump with a man who has who knows how many non-disclosure agreements and the mm. drip 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 of stories of women saying they have been harassed and discriminated against. We have a very few non-disclosure agreements. How, how many Let is me that? finish. How many is that? None of them accuse me of doing anything other than maybe they didn't like the joke I told. Oh, and let yeah, me just that was his worst moment. Oh, and you can she love look at Warren. She's loving this. She's loving it because that's the answer she was looking for. This was his worst moment, by far his worst moment. Warren went after everybody, everybody. I don't, I don't, I don't think she went after Biden. Every single other one, every single other candidate, she went after. And let me point. There's a be agreements between two parties that wanted to keep it quiet. And but you can see, you can see how, see how Bloomberg and also ABC did not show us this moment in their highlight reel. That's up to them. I've been told many times to wait my turn and to step aside, oh, no. and I'm not going to do that now. And I'm not going to do that because a campaign memo uh, from Mayor Bloomberg said this morning uh, that the only way uh, that we get a nominee is if we step aside for him. I think we need something different than Donald Trump. I don't think you look at Donald Trump and say we need someone richer in the White House. In order to beat Donald Trump, we're going to need the largest voter turnout in the history of the United States. That's true. Uh, Mr. Odds. Bloomberg had policies in New York City of stop and frisk, which went after African American and Latino mm. people in an outrageous way. That is not a way you're going to grow voter turnout. Get something straight. The reason the stop and frisk changed is because Barack Obama sent. I don't care about Joe. I'm apologized. sorry. I'm sorry. I've asked for forgiveness. I don't. But the bottom line is that we stopped too many people. But the policy, we stop stopped too many people, thing. and we've got to make sure that we do something about criminal justice in this country. There is no great answer to a lot of these problems. Democrats take a huge risk if we just substitute one arrogant billionaire for another. This country has worked for the rich for a long time and left everyone else in the dirt. It is time to have a president who will be on the side of working families and be willing to get out there and fight for them we've got to wake up as a party we, we could wake up two weeks from today the day after super tuesday and the only candidates oh. left standing all right will be bernie sanders and my one we... candidate who wants to burn the yeah, for all educational opportunities all right, for all Senator, thank you mayor bloomberg would you like to, that the, the question was about socialism what a wonderful country we have the best known socialist in the country happens to be a millionaire with three houses what i miss here well, you'll miss that I work in Washington. <laughs> House one. That's the first problem. Live in Burlington, House two. That's good. And like thousands of other Vermonters, I do have a summer Look, camp. Forgive me camp. for that. But, Where is your home? But, which tax which tax haven New do you York, have your home? New York City, thank you very much. Yeah, right, and I pay all my home. taxes. And I'm all right. Um, we'll leave it there. I thought this was absolute insanity. That this was Bloomberg's best best moment of the night, and I I don't want anybody to get it twisted. I'm not a supporter of this person at all. Um, it was it was insanity, but just just good television. There were a couple of times I was like, I was like, I've had enough. I've had enough of this, and I walked away for five seconds. I was like, ah, they, it's like it's like that whatever that TV show was that you know I tried to get out. But they just 
pull me back in. <laughs> uh, um, all right. Thank you all for joining me. My name is Mike. I am the American Analyst. If you like what I do, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to me here on YouTube, and follow me on Twitter and Minds. Have a good evening. Thank you all for listening. This is Mike, the American Analyst. Follow me on Twitter, Minds, and subscribe to me on YouTube, and be sure to hit that bell notification. I'll be coming out with new videos every single day for your viewing enjoyment. Have a good one.